Today we're going to look at the sum if command in Excel. Uh, most people are familiar with the sum command, it just lets you total up a range of numbers. Um, but the sum if lets you do what I would call a conditional total. Um, so let's say here in this example we have a list of invoices and we know our total sales, but we want to uh, we want to know our sales by sales region, and we don't want to have to resort our list in order to do it. So the sum if command will let us do that. So we're going to click down here where we want our uh, our total to be, and I'm going to click the function wizard. And if you just type in sum if, and then either hit enter or click the go button, select it and click OK. Uh, you'll get this right here. So the range is the range of cells that we want to evaluate. So we're going to select our region column. Criteria, since I'm on the north line here, we just want the ones with, let's say, north. And then the sum range is our range of numbers right there. So we'll click OK. And there it puts that in there for us. We'll apply some formatting. Now, if I were to copy this down, I would it would create some problems because you'll see that here are some ranges E2 to E19, but that gets adjusted as we go down, and they all still say north. So let's go back and take a look at how we could make our little life a little bit easier by doing the formula just a little bit differently. So we'll go back into the function wizard. I'm going to press F4 to make those all absolute references instead of relative references. And then instead of just typing the word north in there, I'm going to click on this cell or you can type in the cell address. And then we're going to make, we'll do F4 again to make uh, the sum range also absolute. I click OK. We copy that down. You'll see we get different answers this time. If I scroll down here and we insert a sum there, you can see that it matches so we know we've got uh, the right totals in there. And you can do other things with it too. Like for example, if you want to, to see uh, you know, how much your large sales were contributing versus how much your small sales were contributing, uh, we could do a, another formula here and we already got our sum if selected there. And in this case, our range would be the numbers themselves. And criteria, we want to say if they're greater than 1,000. And then the sum range, again, would be th the same range of numbers. We click OK. And there's our total that are greater than 1,000. We could do it again. Our range is say less than 1,000. And again, we can total those to make sure it comes out right. So you've got a lot of flexibility, um, but the, the sum if is, is a, a very useful tool um, to let you get at, at numbers that, that otherwise, you know, here if we had to go through and manually choose, you know, pick those out to create a form, that would be really tedious and, and uh, unreliable. So the sum if is a great tool to have in, in your toolbox.